Hi guys, this is Liang Ta back with another video. So today I'll be talking about my experience in fashion school in Singapore, which was at La Salle College of the Arts. So I took a three years program, BA program at La Salle without any prior experience to sewing and drawing. So I think if you demonstrate like enough qualities in your portfolio before you submit for your BA program and you have a diploma, you could actually be like me and actually just go for a BA program rather than a diploma program. So today I'll be talking about my experience in school, what I learned, the environment in La Salle, and most importantly, what you click here for most is the portfolio. So in La Salle, a BA program, which I did half a semester there, so I learned about drawing, sewing, studio, textile, and contextual study. So in drawing, it's very fun, I guess, because you get to go around campus, take photos, draw things, sketch things, going to outside places to nearby school. But I'm not too sure about this aspect already because of COVID. Yeah, so drawing was pretty enjoyable, except for the part where it gets where the teacher needs to see what you draw and stuff like that. So we also do things like tonal shading, lines, uh, nine head models, which I didn't do because I only do a semester there. Yeah, so this is about drawing. Uh, and I, I suck at drawing, like ter I'm a terrible drawer. So I think if you put the effort in, you can slowly develop into be a better drawer. So next was to the sewing class where you do drafting as well as sewing. So it's like a dreadful like eight hours day like where you do the spend the whole day drafting and sewing. So that was the worst subject for me, I guess. So drafting you have to use like curve ruler to draw out the measurements, how many cm, then you have to curve the line. Yeah, and then you have to do sewing, you have to do heat press, you have to do Yeah, it's just not my favorite subject, but it is like important for you to be able to able to take this. Uh, subject well because it is your fundamental for what you will do in your final assessment I guess so there's also another class called studio class where you will talk about your journal with your classmates your influencers what is your what is the things that's going to inspire your FYP of your, your, your submission and yeah it's like a sharing session where you have to be where you just explore your creativity and you have just have a lot of fun so I guess that's one class I did enjoy also where it wasn't so taxing on me then we'll have textile class which is my favorite so you'll go to a campus outside another campus which is near the cell and you'll do things like dyeing, heat, heat transfer and stuff like that which is very fun and also you'll learn screen printing in the next semester in year one which I didn't attend then there is contextual study where you will learn about the history of fashion and like you it's basically a theory for fashion where you need to do presentations you need to write essays and like yeah presentations about the if your with your group mates as well so not only do you do like sewing and drawing and drafting you also need to do like theoretical things like contextual study so this is very important so what i did for my uh, submissions for the only semester is I did a it was a skirt design like submission so you could do any type of skirts like mini skirts for me I chose a circular skirt so I did like heat transfer on the fabric and then I put metal uh, magnets to attach so it can like transfer and but it was very sloppily done because I rushed I didn't really put a lot of effort into it so I rushed to make that submission so basically the concept came from for the skirt was that I took pictures of my blanket every morning before I leave the house so there are like many shapes and I'll show you all in the in the footage yeah there's many shapes of it so my lecturer said why don't you just do a skirt where it shows like your mesh, your blanket yeah so that's what I did but it was very sloppily done like the magnets was so like so yeah it just wasn't a good effort by me and that is why I don't think I deserve to stay yeah so I just quit because I don't think I like drawing and stuff like that so I'll not go I'll not dive into that but yeah so it is very important that you need to have a lot of passion for what you are doing like the sewing you cannot like 
don't like sewing, don't like drawing, don't like everything and last so you need a lot of like perseverance yep so next i'll be talking about my experience i mean the environment and stuff like that so yep so about the environment in lasalle was that most of my classmates are female so there's only one other guy out of 20 people in my class so yeah and most of them are international students well, which means they're not local singaporeans so I don't think it makes a difference for me but I but most of them are quite nice so I get along with them so about the environment in La Salle the teachers there are also I mean they're okay they, for me based on my experience it's like yeah I do get along with them they do help me quite a fair bit and yeah but they try to bond you with other like digital media fashion students as well by organizing like some activities and like yeah and there's like exhibitions where you will go with this you, know, you might interact with this other fashion design fashion digital media students so yeah i mean experience at lasalle was decent so i did enjoy my time there because it was quite fun so well, but yeah it wasn't for me so i decided to leave so now we're talking about my portfolio which i guess is what you'll click for so I'll be now talking about the portfolio which I submitted for my 2019 LaSalle application. So I checked the website, there isn't a need to write an essay now but during that time I had to write an essay. So like it's to bridge your essay and slowly integrate it into your portfolio so it's based around it. Would I suggest you writing now a portfolio, I mean an essay for your portfolio, it's, I mean if it helps you but there's, I checked the website, there isn't a need, I think, yeah. So my story was actually about like an astronaut, like a guy wanting to be an astronaut when he grows up. Because like I saw a picture of Cardi in the LV runway for, for Virgil. So I got, it all stuck in my head and I just wanted to demonstrate it into my portfolio. So like you see here, it's like the... It's just like some, I'll post a clearer picture for it. So it's just like a post take about like what you want to be when you grow up. So I wrote, I want to be an astronaut in the middle. A guy with a NASA hat, Neil Armstrong of the Hall of Fame. Some pictures that I took, it was like, yeah, just some pictures that I took which I thought was compatible with the portfolio. So it's like taking a leap of faith. And most importantly is the space shutter thing. Yeah, so that was the first page which I wrote. I already said I'll put our picture up. The first garment that I picked out of the 10 which I drew, yeah, was a silver shot which was inspired by the Supreme North Face silver-ish, metallic-ish collection. And the fabric, I, I googled the fabric, so I just asked my, I asked my friend to teach me how to overlay like the metallic fabric over the picture. I think we use like a clip mask or something so maybe if you put this type of uh, digital techniques it might help you better for your portfolio yeah so i basically took a shot then i uh, cut out use a sele quick selection tool and then i just used the metallic fabric which i found from google and i overlaid over the shots which was my first look second look was very basic it's just like a waffle knit top which i thought was like very compatible with my portfolio at that time and I just cut out a waffle top that I had as a fabric swatch yep so nothing much about it so my whole portfolio was very organic and it wasn't like very forced it's like what influenced me at that point of time or what was like very aesthetically pleasing to me at that point of time next was just this black uh, stripe uh, like home plissé pants which was very popular at the time so I just included it because yeah I, I will say it's like very organic to me like what would a person who wants to be astronaut want to wear so it was like a fancier outlook for it then I think Dior had this striped suit also which I included using um, an, another floral metallical fabric into like a stripe at the side of the blazer which the astronaut want to be want to wear for formal events or like interview so yep that's about it next was tracksuit tracksuit was very popular especially the needle one so 
as an astronaut you need to be very athletic right so that was why i included it so i make sure you have like 3m details like here and a little side bag which i added because they said you need to add accessories at that point of time so that was one another look that i wrote for my portfolio the infamous bare knuckles i don't know why i just liked it so much that i included it in my portfolio so it's just like a denim fabric here and yeah the bare knuckles which i'll show you in the picture later which was very inspiring at the point of time yep and all my drawing techniques i just go to youtube and i just google how to draw a denim jacket how to draw a hat how to draw a blazer a man in a blazer and stuff like that so i already said my drawing skills is terrible so at that point of time, I was actually working at Cotton On. So they had this like green dress uh, shirt that you have to wear with zips and stuff like that, which was very functional. So I just included it in my portfolio before I submitted it. Yep, it's just zips with on a shirt that you can put your your items inside, and it's very functional. So I just thought as like the astronaut want to be, he would want to be a very functional person. So that's why I included it. Then I had this like Russian font that says astronaut because I was very inspired by Gosha at that time, like you can see here. And I did a acid denim uh, drawstring bag which I did the same technique for my silver shots, which I overlaid the acid fabric into like a drawstring which I took picture of. So I just asked my teach my, my friends taught me how to my friend taught me how to overlay it. So this is Russian for astronaut because like I said, inspired by Gosha at the time. So this is what a very athletic person, athlete, athletic person will wear. So yeah, I'll include the pictures, clearer pictures of it also. Then Gore-Tex was very popular at that time also. So I just drew like a shell jacket with a Prada bucket head as an accessory. I just took a picture of it off Google and just put it on because I thought it would look great with what would pair with my Gore-Tex jacket which was orange I think orange was quite popular at 2019 or so yep and all yellow so yes that's about it Gore-Tex material here and the last would be a colorful hat because like the NASA guy which I NASA kid which was wearing a hat so I thought like Sean's it isn't an exact copy of Sean's hat I just alternate the colors of it so yeah it's the corduroy hat yeah for my last look and my last picture you can include like they said they could include any pictures or any relevant artwork so i just like included pictures which i took like yep i took all these pictures using my dslr and the last one was a modeling thing which i did when i was in polytechnic so i just included it inside here in case it's like they ask what is it then i can just tell them a very interesting story of what happened yep. So this is like my portfolio which got me into like the cell. Okay, it's not the worst, but I wouldn't say it's good at all, but it's a decent effort. I kind of rushed it. So I think when you're doing this portfolio, you just try to be more. For me, it's like, it's always been a very organic process for me. So I just take whatever is relevant to my influences at that point of time. And yeah, I think if you just put some effort into it, you can do a great job and get into the fashion design course that you want. So. Good luck everybody so yeah so this is my portfolio and to end it off i would just say during the interview they'll ask you like they already stated in the website they'll ask you what your influencers who is the designer they look up to like maybe they'll ask you why you over someone else or why you take a diploma why shouldn't you take a diploma first and stuff like that so just be very confident in your answers make sure you just have a framework and be prepared about about these questions that they are definitely going to ask like why who are your favorite designers like what is your influence in your design process and stuff like that yeah so that's about it so i talked about my what i learned in the cell um my environment there and the portfolio so yep this is all that's all for this video so i hope you guys find it helpful if you need any help you can definitely drop me a message on twitter or you can even drop me a comment i'll definitely reply to it so thanks and all the best Peace.